Hi, my name is Zach Henderson with LSA Associates. I'm going to be talking about modifying a parcel database uh, given a lot line adjustment document. Uh, we're going to be talking about a few issues. Uh, primarily, we're going to be dealing with ArcGIS, georeferencing, and splitting the parcel base. But I will be mentioning uh, certain issues that will come up uh, regarding uh, SKU, stretching, um, and and actually uh, what maybe look looks fine on the page doesn't really work in kind of real life and I'll explain a little bit uh, uh, later in more detail. Anyways, this is a lot line adjustment document as you can see. Now what I'm primarily interested in is the very last page because that actually has a figure on it that I can actually use and I'm going to actually uh, crop this area out and I'm going to georeference it, and then I'll save it as a georeference TIFF image uh, that I can use later at a later date. I can pull it up um, if if I if I need to. So in Adobe Illustrator, I'm going to go ahead and use the crop tool, and basically I'm going to just going to go ahead and export this area out. Um, I'm only going to be focusing on page six here. I don't care about the other pages uh, right now, and then I'll just go under File, Save As and image, uh, I'll just set it to a TIFF image. Now I went ahead and did this uh, already uh, just uh, to kind of speed things up a little bit. And so here is my cropped page six, which has the, um, the new lot line adjustment. Now here's my georeferencing toolbar. I'm gonna go ahead and fit this image to the display. And I'm going to go ahead and, and georeference this rather quickly. Uh, so I'm going to grab this corner and put it here. Uh, this corner is this corner over here. And this corner down here is this corner up here. And then I have the last one just kind of like this. Now, you'll notice something. The text and the information on this page looks like that it is actually stretched. In actual fact, it is. Um, but we can actually use the measure tool in ArcGIS to kind of make sure that some of these dimensions are correct. So we're going to go ahead and click over here. And that's about 40 feet, 41 feet around there. If I, I, I think if I zoomed in, um, I might kind of get a better accurate uh, or a more detailed measurement. If I um, measure this area right over here. This should be about 147 feet. It's 146.5. So I'm going to go ahead and call that close enough. Now I have these four corners registered and it kind of stretched everything. Now you'll also notice something really interesting. This blue line right here is the GIS representation of where that parcel line was actually split. But the map says that actually this is the line that needs to be removed. So you have to kind of use some you, you know, logic in this and saying that, well, if the goal is to kind of pretty much get this to be one parcel, which it looks like it does, uh, I'm going to ignore the fact that this does not line up with this. So I'm going to go ahead and save my georeferencing. I'll update my georeferencing. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start editing the parcels. And right now, uh, I'm just literally going to mer select these two parcels. You see them highlighted. I'll go down to Editor, and I'll go ahead and merge. Now, I actually have the choice of merging one into the other. I'm just going to go ahead and merge the top one. Um, and when I do that, it is now one parcel. If I needed to make additional um, adjustments on here, I definitely could. I could split this along the um, uh, kind of a uh, an easement line, or there's some other additional easements. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave it um, in the GIS database, and I'll go ahead and use this TIFF image and store it, so that way I can always pull it up if I need to and see basically what happened, when it happened, and why. Now, just so that we're kind of perfectly clear, I'll go ahead and turn on the parcel database. And as you can see, there it is. And in actual fact, it's already kind of uh, built out. And that pretty much 
shows you just exactly how easy it is to georeference an image and make modifications to a polygon coverage uh, and then basically uh, proof, proof everything based upon an aerial.